that are great at being team players. Like, I have no ego. I don't know it all. I, I don't have the education that matches up with the things that I've done or that I'm doing. But what I do have is the understanding of how things work. And when you get the people that have a different type of understanding and you match my understanding with yours, you have something that is destined to succeed because you're putting a creative vision and a, 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 real, a real hindsight with the education and the the structure yeah. and the systematic view and combining those things you now look up and you have companies that's how companies get built yeah. and and when you have a team a real valuable team that has a, a a high level of energy and effort and want and will to make something work because they believe in it yeah the chances of you losing are very slim i don't like not knowing i don't like the thought of feeling of being content with not understanding or not wanting. So when I see what other people can do, what can be obtained from a thought, from a want, from a feel, it makes me go, well, I got the same thoughts and the same feelings and the same wants. I don't have what these people have. I haven't done nearly half the thing that these people have done. That makes me want to fucking work harder. That means that I'm not doing as much as I could because these people are proof that the things that I want to do can be done. I'm not looking at one person that got lucky. If I'm looking at 44 people that are doing amazing shit, why aren't I number 45? When I look and I sit in a room and I'm with Oprah and I, and I see Hove and I see Jeff Bezos, I don't sit in awe. I sit and think to myself, Look at where they came from and look at what they are now. More importantly, look at the impact that these people have on the world for real. There's a major impact that comes from individuals. That impact can be an impact of change, positivity, feeding the world. It can be so much more that you never sought out to do. Oh, my kids all the time, you're not going to be straight A students all the way through school. It's not going to happen. I want it to happen. But when it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're a bad student. It means that on this particular test, they threw some curveballs at you that you just didn't handle correctly. How do we accept this, learn from it, and then handle the next test better? If I got to the point where I was unrealistic and I go, you didn't get another A? Am I being real? Am I being true to what I know and who I am? Am I really giving good lessons? Or am I allowing my kids to understand and grow? Within time, there should be change. Yeah. There should be respect. But you also have to also be real. You gotta be real in understanding that the only way to get to the point of change is to understand the mistakes that are made before the change. Yeah. So I'm a person that can raise my hand, and go, I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of dumb shit, but I've learned from it. I'm better from it all. Yeah. And now I stand and I'm a better guy and I'm a better comedian and I'm a better craftsman, I'm a better entertainer, I'm a better businessman, but it's because of the mistakes that I made. If I don't make those mistakes, I don't get to sit here and be the guy that I am today. You gotta fuck up.